The shelves of your local video and game store are probably beginning to look more alike these days. Many big budget action films have games based on them. Do these games attempt to capitalize on the movie's name or are they quality entertainment in their own right? They can range from the good to the bad to the really, really ugly. Disney's recent batch of computer animated films, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, and Tarzan, all have games attached to them. The games all look similar to the films themselves, so the graphics are good, but what about gameplay? A Bug's Life is the weakest of the trio. It looks great, but not much thought was put into gameplay. I need more grain. Toy Story 2 is a fun, straightforward adventure game with puzzle and platform elements. The strongest recent Disney film tie-in game is Tarzan. It looks and sounds great and really puts you into the fast pace of the movie. So what about games based on live action films? The most eagerly anticipated and successful movie can inspire one dud of a game. Well, sometimes these games are released as a tool to help market the movie, much like an electronic Happy Meal. Look at the highest grossing film of last year, The Phantom Menace. The film played to varied reviews, but no matter what you thought of Jar Jar, it brought in the crowds and the cash. However, the review of the film's spin-off games have been mixed. Phantom Menace's game of the same name has been met by an abysmal response. It has managed to disappoint just about everyone, even the most dedicated Jedi fanatics. The door is open. LucasArts was under extreme pressure to finish this title in time to be released with the film. As is so often the case, the game could have been better if they'd had more time to develop it and not tried to market the film through the game. Misa Jaja Binks. Episode 1 Racer has fared better in the eyes of players. This game takes what is arguably the most entertaining and intense sequence in the film and recreates it in a challenging and beautiful gameplay environment. Here's an example of a game that takes a film sequence and actually improves upon it. We said we'd mention the good and the bad, and now, here's the ugly. The Fifth Element Game. Though the Bruce Willis film did well at the box office, it was made into a putrid game. I am a little disappointed. The gameplay is awkward, the levels are simplistic, and the graphics are just plain awful. In fact, the only solace Bruce can take is that the character in the game looks nothing like him. Alien vs. Predator did a very interesting thing with two successful movie franchises. It combined them. The result is a fabulous game that was one of the most frightening and well-reviewed of last year. <laughs> the undisputed champion of games made from films, however, is GoldenEye. It's the title that all other spy games are measured up against. It's a multi-level, first-person shooter that lets the player actually become James Bond. And who doesn't want to be James Bond? While it may have been one of the more forgettable Bond films, GoldenEye is the best Bond game by far and is among the best all-around games on the market. When looking at all film-based games, the question we have to ask as gamers is, why was this game developed? Was it created just to make money from the movie tie-in, or was it produced to stand on its own as an innovative game? That question can go the other way as we see more games currently in production as major films. Lara Croft will get her day at the Cineplex when Tomb Raider the movie's finished. The next incarnation of Final Fantasy is in production as both a movie and a new game. In any case, the line between films and games will likely become less distinct as games become more cinematic and realistic. You know, right now I'm playing the gold edition of Aliens vs. Predator, and it still amazes me just how much that game can completely scare me, even though it's in a cube and all the fluorescent lights are on. Yeah, I had to bring you a blankie yesterday. You know. Yeah, well. So I'm playing Jedi Power Battles. They're hating it. Mm. <laughs> oh, well.